On behalf of the faculty of Richmond High School, I'm pleased to welcome all of you to this honors and awards convocation this morning. Thank you very much for coming. I know that in the next few minutes you will see many of the very positive contributions that Richmond High School seniors are making to the community and will be making to the outside world. This group of seniors has garnered an incredible number of outstanding awards for their scholarship as well as for service, activities, for a whole variety of kinds of contributions. I'm pleased that you can join us this morning in honoring them for these achievements. At this time, I would like to showcase the Richmond High School Orchestra, led by student conductor Maria Maurer. They will play an arrangement, Stand By Me, by Custer. Thank you all for being here today. I'd especially like to congratulate seniors and their families. This is the day to celebrate all of our achievements. We should all be very proud. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the people on stage. 
beginning on your left and nearest to the podium, Dr. Katherine Helwig, Principal. Dr. Eugene Thompson, Superintendent. Mr. Mark Harris, School Board Member. Mr. James Lasley, Board Member. Mr. Charles Hilton, Board Member. Mr. Michael Lepresti, Board Member. And Dr. Cheryl Stoley, Board Member. Now on your right, next to the podium, is Student Council President Eric Harzman, Valedictorian Adam Niblick, Valedictorian Gretchen Abigail Fix, Valedictorian Michael Flory, Valedictorian Jamil Iqbal, and Mrs. Karen Kimball, Senior Class Sponsor. Before I start the presentation of awards this morning, I would like to recognize the 1997 Honors and Awards Committee. We appreciate the many hours you have put into making this day possible. If you would please stand as I call your name and remain standing until all of the names have been read. I would also ask the audience to please hold your applause until I have read all of the names. Mr. Kenneth Bator, Ms. Janice Chance, Mrs. Patricia Dawkins, Mr. Robert Feller, Mrs. Beatrice Herbs Herb Kersman, I can never pronounce that one quite right. Mr. Matthew Haliva, Mrs. Marilyn Ingram, Mr. Kenneth Jordan, Mrs. Patricia Jordan, Mrs. Karen Kimball, Mr. Les McLean, Mr. Roy Reisinger, Mrs. Jean Stoner, Mr. Bill Upchurch, Mrs. Elizabeth Van Meter, Mrs. Teresa Weir, Ms. Sarah Wright, Mrs. Sally Porter, Chairperson, and Mrs. Linda Harbin, Secretary. Let's give these people a round of applause. <laughs> With that, we'll begin the 1997 Honors and Awards. These awards represent election and selection by a variety of groups working independently. Some represent service. Some represent an honor conferred by a department. Some are won in contests. Others are awarded on academic rank and achievement. This explains the fact that some graduating seniors will receive recognition in more than one field. Students receiving awards should remain standing until you have received your envelope. You are invited to open the envelope immediately. Some of the envelopes will contain checks. Others have instructions regarding payment. I would also ask the audience if you would please hold your applause. We'll go through a group of honorees and then take a pause and honor these students before we go on to the next group. This will help to move the awards uh, convocation along smoothly this morning. Our first award is the AAUW Elizabeth Sh Shade Hoffman Foreign Language Scholarship, which is awarded to Courtney Cochran. The second award, the AAUW Martha Shade Hoffman Family Consumer Science Award, awarded to Laura Bartell. The AAUW Donald Hoffman English Award, awarded to Heather Pappen. The African American Scholarship and Honors Committee Scholarship, awarded to Kamika Armstead and to Aisha Webster. The A House Tool and Engineering Craftsman Scholarship. We have three recipients Matthew Amos, Travis Holliday, and Brandon Whited. The Altruza Club Achievement Award in Family and Consumer Science, awarded to Jennifer Ramsey. The American Legion Harry Ray Post Number 65 Citizenship Awards, 
First place awards go to Latoya Long and to Rob Pennington. Second place awards to Beth Lebo and to Jesse Harrison. The American Legion Harry Ray Post number 65 Hub Etchison Technical Scholarship is awarded to Nicholas Mundell. The American Legion Harry Ray Post number 65 Paul Gibson Academic Scholarship is awarded to Sarah Dungeon. The American Legion Howard Thomas Post number 315 Citizenship Awards. We have four recipients, Brian Kate, Laura Gibb, Maria Maurer, and Curtis Wright. The Army Reserve Scholar Athlete Awards go to Peter Hagenjos and Stephanie Schuck. The Bank One Scholarship to Kara Hill. The E. Dale Bass Scholarship Award to DeRay Johnson. The Joseph C. Belden Operation Enterprise Award to Michelle Jennings. The Joseph C. Belden Educational Award to Matthew Hayes Coster and Danelia Sams. Burt Sewing Center, Outstanding Senior Sewing Student to Julia Dungan. The Clarence Brown Trust Scholarship to Todd Baker. And the Eileen Giffins Business Award to Stephanie Shuck. Let's take a moment to give these students a round of applause. The Sharon K. Carr Memorial War Award is given to Christy Hoy. The Frederick Chopin Piano Award to Sarah Love. The William J. Kramer Scholarship to Garrett Dodge. The Senorita Clark Memorial Scholarship to Eric Harsman, the R.W. Pat Clinton Scholarship to Latoya Long and Aisha Webster, the Kenneth Clark Scholarship to Amanda Brim, the Chuck Cobble Memorial Award to Brooke Peters. The M. Glenn Cross Memorial Scholarship to Kamika Armstead. The DAR Good Citizen Award to Aaron Hitch. The DAR Outstanding History Student Awards to Peter Hagenjos and Teresa McKay. The Daughters of Isabella Scholarship to Melissa Richard. The Dennis Scholar Athlete goes to two students, Lindsay Crowley and Peter Hagenjos. The Eastern Gateway Kiwanis Scholarship to Chad Romack. The East Side Optimist Scholarship 
to Melissa Basson, Michelle DeVito, Misty Lawson, and Jessica Lear. The Nelda Van Sickle Scholarship for Academic Excellence in English goes to Sarah S. The Hub Etchison Football Award to Jess Harrison. The Hub Etchison Youth League Football Award to Brian Kate. The University of Evansville Department of Music Academic Scholarship to Matthew Hazekoster. The University of Evansville College of Education and Health Services Academic Scholarship to Elizabeth Dixon. Let's give these students a round of applause. The Steve Anderson Memorial Fellowship of Christian Athletes Award, this award is given to two students, Elizabeth Dixon and Mark Jenkins. First Bank Richmond Achievement Scholarship is awarded to Christina Williams. The Outstanding Senior French Student, Courtney Cochran. The Frank Gannett Newspaper Carrier Scholarship to Peter hagen -Jose. The Paul Garrison Memorial Scholarship to Susan Parks. The Gatorade Player of the Year Award to Lisa Shepard. We have two students receiving the German Award, Sarah S and Robert Pennington. The Hibbard School Faculty PTO Scholarship is awarded to Jennifer Elstro. The Mary E. Hill Scholarships are awarded to four students, Elizabeth Dixon, Jennifer Menson, Karen Michael, and Tisha Rayner. The High Y Club Service Scholarships go to Julia Dungan, Daniel Garnett, Michelle Jennings, Krista Cowper, Karen Michael, Brooke Peters, Julia Schwer, Julie Schwer, Kristen Shuri, Shirey, sorry, Erica Stewart, the Janet Land Family Consumer Science Memorial Scholarship to Kimberly Sweet. The Richmond High School Consumer and Family Sciences Award to Jennifer Scales. The Bill and Ruth Ann Holder Purdue Scholarship to Michael Flory. Hoosier Scholarships are awarded to Michael Flory, Jamil Iqbal, and Adam Niblick. The University of Indianapolis Alumni Scholarship is awarded to Brianne Moley. The University of Indianapolis Community Service Award to Andrew, Andrew O'Malley. Outstanding Japanese Language Student Awards go to seniors Melissa Basson, and Amber Lynch.
Ivy Tech State College Awards of Excellence are given to Bradley Tree and to Jennifer Ramsey. Let's give these seniors a round of applause. The C.J. Ivory Mental Attitude Award is presented to Melissa Wise. Journalism Award Service to the Pyreum to Allison Clark, Brooke Peters, and Erica Stewart. Journalism Awards Service to the Register go to Damian Bruns, Whitney Cross, and Vaughn Spaulding. The Kappa Delta Phi Gamma Zeta Chapter Scholarship is awarded to Lindsay Crowley. The Latin Award, two students are recipients, Benjamin Dobbins and Kristen Shirey. The Kirk Little Post Number 1108 VFW Scholarship is awarded to Mark Jenkins. The Christina Maria Danielle Leitner Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Deborah Long. The Kevin Scott McDowell Memorial Scholarship goes to Daniel Garnett and Beth Lebo. Mayor's Youth Advisory Council commendation is awarded to Jonathan Hall, Abby Miller, and Andy O'Malley. The Minority Women's Network Scholarships go to Kamika Armstead, Raquel Lindemann, Talia Ogle, and Erica Stewart. The Senior Mathematics Award goes to Adam Niblick. The Outstanding Senior Computer Science Award goes to Clay Smith. The National Honor Society Beth Stoner Award is presented to Jonathan Hull. The National School Choral Award is presented to Sarah Love. The National School Orchestra Award goes to Matthew Hesekoster. National Merit Scholarship winners are Gretchen Fix and Michael Flory. The Optimises Merit Award is presented to Hope Jelly. The Outstanding Student Government Leader Award goes to Eric Harsman. And the Parade Magazine 1997 All-American Girls Basketball Team Award is presented to Lisa Shepard. Let's give these students a round of applause. <laughs> the Pouse Printers Scholarship is presented to Peter hagen -Jos. The PEO Philanthropic Educational Organization Scholarship goes to Kelly Collinsworth. The Physical Education and Health Department Award is presented to Andre Petrie. Andrew Petrie, excuse me. The Purdue University Valedictorian Scholarship and Purdue University Dean's Engineering Scholarship goes to Michael Flory and Adam Niblick.
The following group of scholarships are Red Devil Pride Scholarships. They are awarded to Matthew Amos, Catherine Benner, Eric Christopher, Allison Clark, Whitney Cross, Elizabeth Dixon, Peter Hagen Jose, Craig Hersey, Aaron Hitch, Mark Jenkins, Michelle Jennings, David Mooring, Nicholas Mundell, Chastity Neely, Talia Ugly, Chad Romack, Matthew Sabin, Lisa Shepherd, Erica Stewart, Melissa Wise. My apologies, Talia, for mispronouncing your last name. <laughs> the next scholarships are awarded to the Richmond Community Schools Von Alexander Educators Memorial Scholarship. These go to Nicole Burkhart, Burkhart and Sarah Love. The Richmond Community Schools Board of School Trustees Scholarship goes to Benjamin Dobbins. The Reed Hospital Scholarship goes to Elizabeth Dixon. The RHS Alumni Association Art Vivian Scholarship goes to Matthew Amos. The RHS Alumni Association Evelyn Imperial Memorial is presented to Mary Katie Hutton. The RHS Alumni Association Teacher of Tomorrow Award goes to Lori Hirons. The Richmond High Performing Arts Club Award is presented to Samuel Garman and to Kristen Shirey. The Richmond High School Vocational Scholarship is presented to Bradley Walton. The Richmond Independent Insurance Agents, Agents Association Scholarship goes to Bradley Van Vliet. The Richmond Lions Club Scholarship goes to Melissa Basson and Christina Kreider. The Richmond Masonic Glee Club Award is presented to Raquel Lindemann. The Richmond Music Boosters Music Scholarships are presented to Matthew Hesekoster, Lori Hirons, Raquel Lindemann, and Sarah Love. Let's give these seniors a round of applause. And as we continue the Richmond Music Boosters' outstanding work in the music department, for music ship in band, Patrick Hernley, Service to, ba to Band, Victoria Ivory. Musicianship in Choir, Patrick Hernley. Service to Choir, Eric Harsman. Musicianship in Orchestra, David Mooring. And Service to Orchestra, Maria Maurer. The Richmond Noon Kiwanis Club Mary Liz Miller Mental Attitude Award is presented to Lisa Shepard. 
the Richmond Noon Kiwanis Club Charles McConnell Mental Attitude Award is presented to Bradley Van Vliet. The Richmond Noon Kiwanis Club Jack Turnbaugh Industrial Arts Award goes to Bradley Walton. The Richmond Noon Kiwanis Club Vaughn Alexander Science Award is presented to Adam Niblick. The Richmond Noon Kiwanis Club Robert Lindsay Vocational Education Award goes to Kyle Strobel. The Richmond Noon Kiwanis Richard Tiernan Health Careers Award goes to Victoria Ivory. The Richmond Podiatry Scholarship goes to Stephanie Shuck. The Richmond Noon Optimus Club Scholarship to Vaughn Spaulding. The Richmond Rotary Club Scholarship to Sarah S. The Richmond Swim Club Phil Harp Award to Nicole Burkhart and Andrew O'Malley. The Rax Restaurant Scholarship to Alan Ward. The Richmond Symphony Orchestra Award to Matthew Hazekoster. The Ruth Hamilton Robbins Memorial Scholarship to Julie Schwer. The Rosa Scholarship to Kenneth Stapleton. The Senior Class Service Awards are presented to Sarah Love and to Karen Michael. The Sigma Phi Gamma Sorority Award is presented to Teresa McKay. Let's give these honorees. <laughs> The Science Department Award is presented to two students, Gretchen Fix and Michael Flory. The Social Studies Award goes to Chastity Neely. The John Philip Sousa Award for Outstanding Musicianship to RHS Bands is presented to Sarah Love. Spanish awards go to Lindsay Crowley, Sarah Love, Adam Niblick, and Stephanie Shuck. The Ann E. Sperling RNMSN Memorial Scholarship is presented to Jennifer Meinson. The Beth Stoner Memorial Scholarship goes to Stephen Dalby. <laughs> Student Council Awards are presented to Jonathan Hall and Sarah Love. Tandy Technology Scholar Awards go to Jonathan Hall. You can stay standing there for a moment, Jonathan and Mark Jenkins. Taylor University Merit Scholarship is presented to Whitney Cross. The 21st Century Scholarship goes to Jennifer Ramsey. The Tri Kappa Mildred Whistler Scholarship goes to Jennifer Elstro. And the Tri-State University University Award goes to Kyle Strobel. The University of Dayton Dean Scholarship is presented to Bradley Van Vliet. A United States Military Academy Award to Gretchen Fix. 
a Gerald Van, Van Winkle Memorial Wrestling Award to Bradley Van Vliet, the Community-Based Vocational Education Award to Lisa Mann, the Vocational Automated Manufacturing Award to David Ross, the Vocational Automotive Technology Award to Bradley Treaty, the Vocational Building Construction Technology Award to Daryl Wright. Let's give these students a round of applause. The Vocational Cooperative Education Award to Amy First. The Vocational Child Care Services Award to Jennifer Ramsey. The Vocational Drafting Technology Award to Derek Hopkins. The Vocational Industrial Cooperative Training Award to Joseph Buckler. The Vocational Hero Award to Kimberly Sweet. The Vocational Certified Nursing Assistant Award to Melissa Richards. The Vocational Machine Trades Award to Brandon White. The Community-Based Vocational Education Scholarship to Brian Deloney. The Vocational Automated Manufacturing Scholarship to Nicholas Mundell. The Vocational Child Care Services Scholarship to Amanda Brim. A Vocational Hero Scholarship to Tracy Thomas. The Vocational Industrial Co-op Training Scholarship to Bradley Walton. The Vocational Building Construction Technology Scholarship to Sean Gallagher. A Valparaiso University Crusader Award to Kimberly Sweet. Vocational Cosmetology Scholarship to Christine Hoffman. Huffman. The Vocational Certified Nursing Assistant Scholarship to Deborah Long. The Vocational Cooperative Office Education Scholarship to Hope Jelly. The Vocational Drafting Technology Scholarship to Kyle Strobel. The Vocational Machine Trade Scholarship to Matthew Amos. The Wayne Union County's Medical Society Scholarship to David Mooring. <coughs> the Wayne County Home Builders Association Scholarship to Sarah Jackson and Brooke Peters. <coughs> the, Vir the Virginia May Wh Whitaker Memorial Scholarship Award for outstanding service to the RHS Orchestra goes to, excuse me, <coughs> goes to Jeremiah Deacons. The Wise Men's Memorial Fund Scholarship goes to Garrett Dodge. The Mel Young Outstanding Mathematics Award goes to Mariah Miller. The Jackie Maddox Memorial Communications Award is presented to two students, Kisha Rayner, Tisha Rayner, Tisha Rayner, Tisha Rayner, and Jesse Webster. The Robert Bobby Smith Memorial Scholarship goes to Talia Ogle. <coughs> You're going to have to help me with that, OK? <coughs> the Union and Wayne County's Easter Seal Society Scholarship goes to Jennifer Ramsey. 
The K Cub Scholarship goes to Daniela Sams. The NAACP Act So Award is presented to two students Kamika Armstead, J. Patrick Norris, and Talia. Talia, is that right? Okay. Let's give these students a round of applause. In case any of you were counting, we just made awards for 244 scholarships and service awards. Let's give that whole group another round of applause. The next group of awards we will present are honor roll awards, and I will ask that all of these students please stand and stay standing until I've announced everyone's name. We'll be reading these only. There are no certificates that go along with these. An honor roll is read at the Honors and Awards Assembly, listing those seniors who have made an average of B or better for their high school years. All one credit and one half credit marks are counted in figuring this average. Any senior to be eligible for this honor roll must have been enrolled in Richmond High School at least one full semester. These names are read in the order of their current rank in class. Seniors will stand when their name is read and remain standing until all names are read. Please hold your applause. Gretchen Fix, Michael Flory, Jamil Iqbal, Adam Niblick, Lindsay Crowley, Sarah Love, Benjamin Dobbins, Eric Harsman, Jonathan Hall, Mark Jenkins, Robert Pennington, Clayt Smith, David Mooring, Beth Lebo, Sarah S. Samuel Garman, Teresa McKay, Kristen Shirey, Julia Dungan, Aaron Rogers, Bradley Van Vliet, Julie Schweer, Laura Gibb, Victoria Ivory, Stephanie Shuck, Whitney Cross, Elizabeth Dixon, Lori Heron, Damian Brunn, Raquel Lindemann, Aaron Hitch, Sarah Dungan, Karen Michael, Eric Christopher, Garrett Dodge, Matthew Amos, Jennifer Elstro, Susan Park, Nicholas Mundell, Allison Clark, Jessica Crafton, Heather Pappen, Jill Thompson, Daniel Garnett, Michelle Jennings, Joseph Buckler, Patrick Hernley, Matthew Hood, Mariah Maurer, Mariah, I'm sorry, Brianne Mullally, and Sarah Beltrain. We're not done yet. Vaughn Balding, Jennifer Carnes, Kimberly Sweet, Brian Deloney, Lisa Shepherd, Brooke Peters, Chad Romack, 
Matthew Saban, Sabine, Kenneth Stapleton, Travis Caskey, Mohammed Nasser, Stephen Dalby, Brad Wilson, Michelle Dahl, Rebecca Moore, Laura Bartle, Selena Hildebrand, Andrew Petrie, Bradley Walton, Kamika Armstead, Kelly Collinsworth, Matthew Hazacoster, Courtney Cochran, Christy Hoy, Chastity Neely, Brian Kate, Nicole Palmer, Erica Stewart, Lisa Mann, Jennifer Ramsey, Todd Baker, Amanda Shields, Regina Bomber, Katherine Benner, Kimberly Jackson, Carl Walter, Darren McGill, Daniela Sam, Jennifer Meinson, and Matthew Weihart. Let's give these scholars a round of applause. Thank you. I don't believe so. I read All of the names that were read on the that were read were the names that I had from the honor roll list. Um, we'll check if you would want to walk down and tell one of the people down here. We'll correct that. The following students have been selected to receive the Students Award for Educational Excellence. They have met the following established criteria. They have scored in the top 15% on the SAT or ACT. They have accumulated a grade point average of 3.5 or higher. The following winners will receive a presidential certificate. Please hold your applause until all of the names are read. Damian Bruns, Nicole Burkhart, Lindsay Crowley, Whitney Cross, Elizabeth Dixon, Benjamin Dobbins, Garrett Dodge, Julia Dungan, Sarah Dungan, Sarah S, Gretchen Fix, Michael Flory, Samuel Garman, Peter Hagenjos, Eric Harsman, Aaron Hitch, Jonathan Hall, Jamil Iqbal, Victoria Ivory, Mark Jenkins, Beth Lebo, Raquel Lindemann, Sarah Love, Teresa McKay, Karen Michael, <coughs> Mariah Miller, David Mooring, Nicholas Mendel, Adam Niblick, 
Susan Parks, Robert Pennington, Julie, Julie Schweer, Kristen Shirey, Stephanie Shuck, and Clay Smith. Will those presidential award winners all please stand back up and let's give all of you a, a round of applause. Students who are members of National Honor Society may be identified by the gold cowls they are wearing. The following students were elected to membership in the National Honor Society and have maintained the necessary grade average to be members in good standing. They were also approved by the faculty in the areas of service, leadership, and character. Again, I would ask you to hold your applause until all the names are read and would ask all of the students to please remain standing as your name is called until the entire group has been identified. Matthew Amos, Damian Bruns, Nicole Burkhart, Eric Christopher, Lindsay Crowley, Whitney Croft, Elizabeth Dixon, Benjamin Dobbins, Garrett Dodge, Julia Dungan, Sarah Dungan, Jennifer Elstro, Sarah S., Gretchen Fix, Michael Flory, Samuel Garman, Daniel Garnett, Garnett, Laura Gibb, Peter Hagenjos, Eric Harsman, Aaron Hines, Laura Heron, Aaron Hitch, Jonathan Hall, Jamil Iqbal, Victoria Ivory, Mark Jenkins, Beth Lebo, Raquel Lindemann, Sarah Love, Mariah Maurer, Teresa McKay, Karen Michael, excuse me, Maria Maurer, Mariah Miller, David Mooring, Nicholas Mundell, Adam Niblick, Susan Parks, Robert Pennington, Julie Schweer, Kristen Shirey, Stephanie Shuck, Clayt Smith, Jill Thompson, and Bradley Van Vliet. Let's give these members of National Honors a call. The following seniors are candidates to receive the <laughs> The following seniors are candidates to receive the Academic Honors Diploma. This diploma is granted to seniors who have accumulated 47 credits with major emphasis in the five academic areas of English, science, math, social studies, and foreign language. They must also maintain a 3.0 grade point average. This group of students will please stand as I read your names. Please hold your applause. Kamika Armstead, Todd Baker, Damian Bruns, Joseph Buckler, Nicole Burkhart, Travis Caskey, Eric Christopher, Courtney Cochran, Jessica Crafton, Lindsay Crowley, Whitney Croft, Stephen Dalby, Elizabeth Dixon, Benjamin Dobbins, 
Garrett Dodge, Michelle Dahl, Julia Dungan, Sarah Dungan, Jennifer Elstro, Sarah F., Gretchen Fix, Michael Flory, Samuel Garman, Daniel Garnett, Peter Hagenjos, Eric Harsman, Matthew Hazekoster, Patrick Hernley, Lori Herons, Aaron Hitch, Matthew Hood, Jonathan Hall, Victoria Ivory, Mark Jenkins, Michelle Jennings, Beth Lebo, Raquel Lindemann, Sarah Love, Maria Maurer, Teresa McKay, Jennifer Meinson, Karen Michael, David Mooring, Rebecca Moore, Brianne Moley, Nicholas Mundell, Chastity Neely, Adam Niblick, Heather Pappen, Susan Parks, Robert Pennington, Brooke Peters, Andrew Petrie, Chad Romack, Matthew Sabine, Danella Sams, Amanda Shields, Kristen Shirey, Stephanie Shuck, Vaughn Spaulding, Kenneth Stapleton, Erica Stewart, Kimberly Sweet, Jill Thompson, Bradley Van Vliet, Carl Walter, Brad Wilson, Melissa Wise. Let's give these students a round of applause. We have four additional students whose names should be added to the honor roll list. Would these four students please stand? Andreas Botcher, excuse me if I mispronounced that. Peter Hagenjos, Mariah Miller, and Nicole Burkhart. Let's give them a round of applause. I'd like to thank the audience for being so patient. You've sat through lots of scholarships. We have a few more left. The 21st Century Scholars, please stand when your name is called. Russell Birch, Lori Blumke, John Carter, Erica Cook, Elizabeth Dixon, Eddie Fox, Christina Gardner, Charles Guest, Christopher Guest, Benjamin Homer, Jacqueline Hughes, Mary Hutton, Sarah Jackson, Ryan Jeffers, Aaron Kincaid, Misty Lawson, Deborah Long, Latoya Long, Chastity Neely, Josh Joshua Nunley, David Swafford, and Kenneth Wilma. Let's give these students 21st century scholars. My pleasure at this time to announce some additional war awards and names of those who have accepted them. As is the case each year, several members of the class have had opportunities to accept more than one award. 
It is the policy, however, to announce that this honors an awards assembly only those awards which the candidate actually has accepted and requested in writing that the award be announced. In the event that a person's name is read more than once, it means that one award is in addition to the other, which makes it possible for the student to use both awards at the school of their choice. Please hold your applause until all of these names are read. The Albion College Academic Scholarship to Kristen Shirey. The Ball State University Athletic Scholarship to Aaron Hitch. The Bethel African Methodist Episcopal Church Scholarship. We have two winners, J. Patrick Norris and Talia Ogle. The Cigna Employee Scholarship to Angela Spark. The Denison University Heritage Scholarship to Kristen Shirey. The Hampton University Athletic Scholarship to Talia Ogle. The Huntington College Academic Scholarship to Julia Dungan. The Indiana Conference Lay Organization Scholarship to J. Patrick Norris and to Leah Ogle. The Indiana Conference Women's Missionary Society Scholarship to J. Patrick Norris and to Leah Ogle. The Indiana University Alumni Association Scholar is presented to Nicole Palmer. The Indiana University Faculty Award to Damian Bruns. The Indiana State University Academic Scholarship to J. Patrick Norris. The Indiana State University Dean Scholarship to Bradley Walton. The Kenyon College Distinguished Academic Scholarship to Nicole Burkhart. A Kiwanis Scholarship to David Mooring. The Lutheran Brotherhood Academic Scholarship to Julie Schwer. A Navy College Fund Scholarship to Christopher Swallow. The Oberlin College National Merit Scholarship. We have two recipients, Benjamin Dobbins and Mariah Miller. The Oberlin College John B. Stern Science Scholarship to Clayt Smith. The Peyton Wells Automotive Group Business Scholarship to J. Patrick Norris. The Purdue University National Merit Scholarship to Adam Niblett. The Purdue University Athletic Scholarship to David Mooring. The Rose Coleman Institute of Technology Scholarship to Susan Parks. And the Target All Around Scholarship to Angela Sparks. The University of Arizona National Merit Scholarship, Mark Jenkins. The University of Evansville First Choice Award to Elizabeth Dixon. The University of Indianapolis Athletic Scholarship to Brianne Mullally. The University of Kansas Voice Scholarship to Raquel Lindemann. The Utica Chrysler Plymouth Business Incentive Scholarship to J. Patrick Norris. And last but not least, the Uni Wittenberg University Music Scholarship to Julie Schwer. We found one more error in the program. An honors diploma should also be 
recognized, awarded to Julie, Julie Schwer. Julie. This concludes the honors and awards presentations. The class of 1997, we congratulate you. graduating seniors, students, parents, and faculty members. As I stand here today with the honor of passing on the gavel to Melinda Foley, the new student council president, I ask that we reflect on this past year so that we might remember both the positive and the negative, the good times and the bad, and decide for ourselves as we as students, te teachers, and members of the community might learn from our mistakes, take pride in our accomplishments, and seek to better ourselves and our world. As seniors, this is our goal and our motto, to take the world as we find it, but leave it a better place. To the new student council leaders and all those who will return to Richmond High School next year, I wish you great success in your future endeavors. Thank you. I am honored to be up here and accept the 1997-1998 student council gavel. I'm excited and looking forward to the challenge ahead of all of us as we try to keep the old traditions and begin new ones. Thanks.
sweetie. <laughs> the boy in the white, Mickey Mouse, and the other white one is Pluto. Oh my.
Good afternoon, friends and family of the Richmond High School graduating class of 1997. It is my pleasure to welcome you to today's ceremony. Please sit back and enjoy. Our first speaker will be Dr. Katherine Helwig, principal of RHS. Thank you. On behalf of the staff of Richmond High School, I welcome you to this, the 126th commencement of Richmond High School. It is my pleasure to introduce this afternoon the dignitaries who are seated on the stage. To my right, Dr. Eugene W. Thompson, superintendent of the Richmond Community School, Ms. Sarah E. Love, president of the class of 1997, Eric C. Harsman, president of the student council, Mr. James A. Lastly, member of the Richmond Community Schools Board of School Trustees. Mr. Mark W. Harris, Secretary of the School Board of Trustees. In the second row, Mrs. Karen L. Kimball, Senior Class Sponsor, 1996-97. Mr. Michael L. Walton, Assistant Principal. Mrs. Eileen Baker, Assistant Principal. And Mr. Stuart A. Sector, Director of Civic Hall. To my left, Seated in the first row, Jamil Z. Iqbal, valedictorian, Michael A. Flory, valedictorian, Adam L. Niblick, valedictorian, Mr. Robert A. Ridgway, vice president of the Richmond Community Schools Board of School Trustees, Mr. Charles W. Hilton, member of the school board of trustees. In the second row, Mrs. Joyce C. Graff, class sponsor, 1993 through 1996. Mrs. Sally Porter, Richmond High School Counselor. Mrs. Alicia K. Stewart, Director of Title I Programs for the Richmond Community Schools. And Mr. Anthony J. Michael, Executive Assistant Principal. As I reviewed the efforts of the class of 1997, both this past year and in previous years, I marvel at your accomplishments. You have used the talents that you have to reach this milestone. Some of you have had to cope with few roadblocks. Others of you have overcome incredible hur hurdles to earn your diplomas. I congratulate each of you for your efforts. The honors and awards insert in your program today certainly testifies to the accomplishments of this class. Seven members of this senior class are National Merit finalists an unprecedented number, I believe, in RHS history. The outstanding records of our academic excellence teams, our high Q team, our speech team, our athletic teams, only to cite a few, exemplify these accomplishments. However, there are many unsung efforts for which this class should also be recognized. I think of the thousands of volunteer hours RHS students gave to the Richmond community on National Youth Service Day the outpouring of support for flood victims recently, the countless hours contributed by peer helpers to support their fellow students, the numerous students who went to middle and elementary schools in Richmond to help younger students learn, and the many, many students who daily help each other work through tough class assignments or lend a shoulder when a friend is having a bad day. The caring attitude of many RHS students will stand out in my memories. As you leave RHS, I ask you to continue to do these things. Respect yourself, respect others, continue to learn, most importantly, continue to dream, and continue to use the potential you have been given. You are all our future. Seniors, you have been supported in your efforts by many people. Your graduation has been facilitated in part by all of the school employees who have made your education possible from the time you entered kindergarten through today. Would all of the employees of the Richmond Community Schools Corporation who are in the audience please stand and be recognized? Let's give these folks a round of applause. Your parents and guardians have also provided you with limitless support in your educational efforts. Would all of the parents and guardians of the graduating ple seniors please stand and be recognized?
finally, we need to say thank you to all of those staff members and students who have made this ceremony possible. A special thank you to Mrs. Eileen Baker, Mrs. Sally Porter, Mrs. Betty Peterson, Ms. Jean Harper, and to the RHS Music Department.
administration, faculty, family, friends, guests, and class of 1997. Through your life, a great many things will change, and with this change comes new dreams and goals to focus on. No, this quote was not said by some famous philosopher, but my own father. As we sit here in these seats, we can look back on how many changes have occurred with our dreams and even our changing roles in life. What is a dream? Quoting the dictionary, a dream is made up of hopes and aspirations seen by the beholder. But what really is a dream to us? Dreams can be broken down into goals, which can be long-term or short-term. For example, a short-term goal is to get an A on this week's algebra test. A long-term goal is to get an A in the algebra class. How hard we try and how well we do determines our future roles in life. When we were kids, our role was to take in the world around us, learning new things, gaining new experiences. Our dreams were innocent, as most of us wanted to be astronauts, firemen, or even ballerinas. The world we lived in was constantly changing, as we went from crawling, to walking, to riding our first bicycle, an art which I never mastered successfully. As we moved on to adolescence, our dreams became more realistic as we focused on a particular career. Along with age came more responsibility, such as possible part-time jobs or after-school activities while trying to maintain good grades. Some of us have battled peer pressure in an effort to make our parents proud. During these years, the dream of driving a car truly became a reality. This reality gives light to a whole new realm of responsibility forcing us to enter the role of being a young adult. That brings us to where we are today, ready to achieve one of the greatest feats of our young adult years, graduation. Upon graduation, we will be ready to look forward to discovering the various roles and dreams we will want to achieve in our lives. Some of us are going off to college, whether near or far, to continue our education beyond our high school years. Others of us will join different branches of the armed forces, seeking to serve our country with courage. And still more of us will choose to enter the job force, learning what is expected of us in the real world. Whatever we do, we must remember, these are the days that will shape our lives, setting us on the path for tomorrow. The changing of roles and dreams is inevitable. Class of 1997, I dare you to dream. The following has been the federally recommended, subsidized, and approved outline for a high school commencement speech. To begin with, a greeting should be extended to all present. Parents, school board members, Superintendent Thompson, fellow students. Next, segue into an attention-grabbing introduction. Hey! But avoid being overly informal. As I look out over your smiling faces, bring to mind the rich and illustrious history of your high school. As our grandparents before us sat in those very chairs. Enough with the introduction. Time to get to the theme of the speech. Possible choices include the future. Our horizons are boundless. Memories of a high school. I remember when we were merely freshmen. and social commentary. <laughs> Famous quotations may also be used. Some possible choices include presidents. The world will little note nor long remember the words that we say here. Roman authors. 
Speech is a mirror to the soul. As a man speaks, so is he. And of course, the immortal bard. The text is old, the orators too green. In closing, a maxim that suggests the character of your class is suggested. When you come to a fork in the road, stop and eat. So there you have it. Was that moving? Huh? Huh? Did we stir up a few tears? Ah, shucks. I don't think we got them. I don't understand. We followed the formula. Maybe commencement doesn't come in a speech. And then the Grinch realized something he hadn't before. Maybe commencement, he thought, is a little bit more. So our point is this. We are here today participating in a scripted and programmed ceremony celebrating four years that we played completely by ear. <laughs> no one handed us an outline for high school. So we made our own. 300 stories. All with one thing in common. Funky hats. <laughs> the way we figure it is this. 380 stories take too long to tell. So they invented commencement and decided to tell them all at once. Perhaps it's displaying the arrogance of youth to stand up here at 18 years of age and reminisce over the battles we have th fought through the days of yore. But what are we celebrating today if not youthful arrogance? Yes, we're here today in celebration of every goof up and mistake we've ever made. And all of the ones we're going to make. So. This isn't the end of the story. This is the beginning and the middle and the end of 300 stories. And those 300 stories are more powerful and more real than anything two green orators could come up with. Let us celebrate the successes and the mistakes, but the lives of the class of 1997. It is time for a new generation of leadership to cope with new problems and new opportunities, for there is a new world to be won. If those words sound familiar, it's because they were spoken by President John F. Kennedy during a televised address on July 4, 1960. We have remedied many problems since Kennedy's time. Take, for example, the fall of communism in Germany and the former Soviet Union. But of course, many problems have developed since Kennedy's time. Problems that Kennedy could have never imagined are now on our front step. AIDS, internet pornography, and the over one half million youth who are involved in gangs are just a few of the issues pressing Americans today. So, nearly 37 years later, Kennedy's words still ring true. It is time for a new generation of leadership to cope with new problems and new opportunities for there is a new world to be won. The pessimist sees these problems as setbacks, but the optimist sees these problems, new and old, as opportunities for growth and improvement. The world is full of problems, but they are a lot easier to handle if you see them as stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks. Our class motto, take the world as you find it, but leave it a better place, echoes this idea. But changing our world for the better is a pretty lofty ideal. So how do we go about doing that? There's a story I once heard that simplifies the whole thing. It goes like this. Mom told me, your task is to build a better world. I answered, how? The world is such a large and vast place, so complicated, and I am so small and useless. There's nothing I can do. But Mom, in all her wisdom, said, just build a better you. Building a better you starts with setting high standards and goals for yourself and believing in your ability to achieve them. You may have seen the sign just inside Mrs. Donson's room, which is located right across from the famous teacher's lounge. The side sign rings, reads in big, bold, 
red and white capital letters, I can do all things. Yes, even getting to school before the sun rises for early morning practices or staying after till the sun sets to meet a deadline or perfect a scene from the play. Indeed, with a good positive attitude and motivation, we can do anything we set out to do. Another important step in building a better you is learning to use your time and talents for the benefit of others. Albert Schweitzer once said, I don't know what your destiny will be, but one thing I know, the only ones among you who will be really happy are those who have found out and sought to serve. Service to others has been a big principle on which we have operated over the past few years. Over half of our school participated in National Youth Service Day. New opportunities for service learning have developed over the past years, which have allowed us to receive credit for volunteering in our community. But I'm sure most of you who have ever aided someone with your time or talent realize that the true reward is not in receiving tangible things or praise of others, but in the internal gratification gained from knowing you've satisfied a need. You may think that you're only a small, insignificant part in the whole scheme of things, so why bother? Think of yourself as a pebble dropped into a body of water, sending larger and larger ripples out into the surrounding water. Eventually, more and more space is covered by ripples caused by the drop of a single pebble. Who you are and what you do does make a difference. Many of you have probably seen the movie starring John Travolta that was a big hit on the big screens last summer. Phenomenon? If not, then maybe you've heard the theme song from the movie. Don't worry, I won't sing it for you. It's called Change the World by Eric Clapton. The phenomenal man in the song wants to make the world a better place by making himself a better person. Well, class of 97, we are like that man. We are phenomenal. And we can change the world. Believe in yourself, serve one another, and keep building a better you. God bless the class of 1997.
Dr. Thompson, would you please come forward? Dr. Thompson, I am pleased to present these students who have met all of the requirements for the diploma or certificate they are about to receive as specified by the Indiana State Department of Education and the Board of Trustees of the Richmond Community School. Thank you, Dr. Helwig. First, I'd like to direct my initial words to the parents and guardians of the class of 97. It's a good day. It's a day to breathe just a hair easier uh, than you did a year ago, wondering how the senior year was going to work out. It feels a little bit better, and congratulations to all of you. Second, my words to the class of 97. Your diploma that you've earned and will receive today is called a good start. It's exactly what it is. It's a good beginning in your life. We know from looking at national statistics what your earnings can be with and without a high school diploma. Without the diploma, your friends who chose to leave behind, who chose to go another route, will earn approximately $10,000 a year. Sounds like a lot of money at first until you consider that a car costs 20. With your diploma, you've doubled that number. You will earn what you learn. As you continue on, as you must continue on, you will continue to double the number. With a bachelor's degree, you will double your high school earnings. It'll jump to 40. And as the class of 97, you're very fortunate. You live in a city, you've grown up in a city that has three outstanding institutions of education. Earlham College nearby, world-recognized institution. Indiana University East, an emerging university ready to serve the residents of Wayne County, and Ivy Tech that offers excellent technical training. My words are to urge you to stay focused, to consider your diploma today a good start, and to maintain your educational focus, to move forward, because you will indeed earn what you learn. But today, congratulations, celebrate, have a good time, and in September, start up again. Thank you. The senior class has requested that in keeping with the dignity of this occasion that the audience please hold your applause until all of the seniors have received their diplomas. We also ask that members of the audience refrain from taking pictures on the main floor near the stage so as not to interfere with the graduation ceremony or with the professional photographers who are taking pictures of each graduate as they receive their diploma. Will the senior class please move forward to receive their diplomas at this time? Jamil Zephyr Iqbal. Michael Aaron Flory. Adam Lee Nibley. Sarah Elizabeth Love. Eric Charles Harzman. Brooke Elizabeth Peters. Krista Lynn Kuiper. Joseph Wayne Cat St 
Stephanie Ann Bark. Charles Edward Guest. Sarah Rose Beltrame. Derek Lee Hopkins. Jessica Ann Lear. Matthew Scott Hood. Karen Desiree McWhorter. Brian Allen Johnson. Jeremy Daniel Blosser. Lori Ann Hirons. Scott Renteria. Anna Schwartz. Leslie Augustus Huffman. Melissa Marlene Richards. <laughs> Kenneth Michael Stapleton. Raquel Nicole Lindemann. Brian Burton Kate. Michael J. Allen. Amy Nicole Ninover. Wesley Lee Cox. Kisha Lee Rayner. Darren Keith McGill. Julie Ann Schweer. Nathan Daniel Pollock. Angela Nicole Sparks. Joshua Ryan Nunley. Raven M. Weaver. Stephen Bruce Westcott. Heather Renee Fawcett. Curtis Lamont Wright. Deanna Ray Harkle Road. Peter James Zettel. Amanda Rose. Davis, Todd Jeffrey Strait, Consuela Angel Walker, John Edward Brown, Latoya Trene Long. Bradley Scott Walton. Karen Elizabeth Michael. Brandon D. Whited. Michelle 
Lynn Jennings, James Brian Carter, Jessica Lynn Crafton, Garrett Forbes Dodge the Fourth. Elizabeth Ann Dixon. Peter Anderson Hagen Joes. Teresa Jean McKay. Daniel James Garnett. Nicole Marie Burkhart. Bradley Eric Van Vliet. Crystal Michelle Culbertson. Jason Allen Jeffries. Julia Michelle Dungan. Adam Joseph Langley. Amy Jo Frist. Nicholas Brandon Mundell. Jennifer Renee Mineson. Felipe Juan Salazar. Courtney Ann Cochran. Christopher Randall Guest. Nicole Louise Palmer. Kevin Eugene Washington. <laughs> Tamika Raylin Tate. <laughs> Jason Allen Jordan. Jennifer Joe Carnes. Tushan Devassier Craig. Catherine Elizabeth Benner. Kenneth Shane Wilma. Kristen Renee Bridgeford. Jason Randall Chilcoat. Amanda Jo Shields. Sean Patrick Gallagher. Inetta Trene Twine. Matthew Joseph Hazacosta. Amanda Jane Yunts. Andrew Trent O'Malley. Crystal Lee Webster. Michael Edward Canlarian. Brandy Lee Chrisman. 
Brian James Mao. Christy Michelle Hoy. Adam Russell Lee. Chastity Gwen Neely. Christopher Edward Powell. Lisa Renee Shepard. Jeremiah Wayne Deacon. Sarah Jane King. Travis John Kasky. Lindsay Nicole Crowley. Benjamin John Sumner Fox. Christine Louise Huffman. J. Patrick Norris. Daniela Courtney Sands. Samuel George Garman. Mariah Jean Miller. Timothy Price III. Christina Renee Kreider. Mark Adrian Jenkins. Aisha Marie Webster. Andrew Jacob Petrie. Laura Ann Bartle. Brian Lee Deloney. Lisa Marie Mann. Antonio D. Lynch. Melissa Sue Basson. Charles James Tabling. Laurie Joe Blimke. Bradley John Treaty. Brianne Mary Mullally. Joseph Paul Buckler. Holly K. Robinson. Ryan Lyndon Coffey. Brandy Nicole Bridgeforth. Matthew Benjamin Phillips. Heather Nicole Kurtz. David Charles Ross. Casey Dawn Kelly. Michael Ray Seitz. Regina Ann 
Balmer. Mohammed Nasser. Sherry Lynn Campbell. Johnny Carl Kurtz III. Misty Dawn Lawson. Jeremy Martin Bulmer. Jill Elizabeth Thompson. Todd Lee Baker. Melissa K. Wise. Matthew Allen Williams. Rebecca Ann Moore. DeRay Eugene Johnson. Melinda Ann Smith. William Roy Murray III. Tracy Lynn Thomas. Russell James Birch. Lori Ann Sparks. Matthew Robert Shimaleski. Tracy Ann Beach. Nathan Lee Yoke. Katie Jo Rourke. Robert Michael Mayberry. Brianna Jean Sinex. Jeremy Lee Creech. Rebecca Sue Martin. Frederick Craig. Jennifer Louise Ramsey. Robert Edward Pennington III. Jennifer Lynn Scales. Joshua David Combs. Jennifer Alamina Miller. Jesse Robert Harrison. Chandra Danelle Purcell. Thomas Lee Hayes, Jr. Marcy Ann Amsler. Derek Evan McDonald. Lori Ann Davis. Edward Eugene Fox. 
Heather Ann Gebbs. Matthew Edward Smay. Kara Marie Hill. Clayt Taylor Smith. Sarah Nicole Hassan Jackson. Joseph Wayne Farmer. Maria Lynn Maurer. Douglas Matthew Wilmot. Kimberly Michelle Sweet. Robert Chad Romack. Carmen Diane Peacock. Matthew John Rudisol. Aaron Elizabeth Hitch. Rhett Michael Shero. Victoria Lee Ivory. Vaughn Michael Spaulding. Marcy Renee Seiler. Damian Douglas Bruns. Susan Elizabeth Parks. Michael Craig Percy. Kimberly Leanne Jackson. Patrick Michael Hernley. Karen Christine Robinson. Matthew Miles Sabine. Erica Renee Stewart. Andreas Butcher. Rachel K. Robinson. Christopher Lee Swallow. Bonnie Marie Coletti. Matthew Paul Amos. Kristen Grace Shirey. Timothy Shannon Liebarger, Jr. Stacy Nicole Walker. Jason Lee Dunn. 
Jennifer Ann Elstro. Patrick Allen Anderson. Amber Ann Lynch. Jonathan Bradley Eaton. Ivy Darlene Coleman. Stephen Wayne Warman. Brandy Nicole Brown. Jennifer Sarah Jacobson. Kyle Dwayne Davis. Tanya Renee Lear. Justin Allen Hart. Christina Nicole Williams. Christopher Lee Singleton. Michelle Corinne Dahl. Joseph Paul Wurtenberger. Sarah Christine S. Benjamin Colin Dobson. Dobbins, excuse me. Kelly Jane Collinsworth. I know exactly where it came from. Jonathan Richard Hull. Sarah Nicole Dungan. Ryan Matthew Jeffers. Amanda Nicole Brim. Michael Lewis Kitchen. Mary Alandra Kyle Ship. David Lynn Mooring. Summer Ray Oakley. Antoine Lamont Wilson. Jacqueline Marie Hughes. Bradley Keith Himmelgarn. Laura Suzanne Gibb. Stephen Frank Casebolt. Selena Marie Hildebrand. Joshua Daniel Caves. Jennifer Rebecca Livesey. Woo! 
Eric Ross Christopher. Deborah Marie Long. Hemant Keshev Patel. Mary Catherine Hutton. Errol Preston Katz. Stephanie Suzanne Carter. Stephen Mark Dalby. Michelle Marie DeVito. Tom Stanley Jr. Hope Catherine Jelly. Matthew Ryan Weehart. Juanita Jean Tevis. Claude Dwayne McMiller. <laughs> Sheila Marie Ann Andrews. Stephen Douglas Coates. Kimberly Ann Brown. Don't run. Freddie Albert Brush, Jr. Christy Lee White. Benjamin Ray Homer. <laughs> Melissa Sue Isaac. Nicholas Sean Dixon. Jackie Renee Graham. Thomas Aloysius Cooper, Jr. Aaron Christine Warfield. Chad Brian Harris. Whitney Ann Cross. Travis Duane Holiday. Stephanie Lee Shuck. Alan Levant Jason Ward. Christina Renee Luce. Bradley Scott Wilson. Sheridan Lindsay Ackerman. Chiquita Denise Gibson. Tisha May Rayner. Heather Monique Pappen. Allison Suzanne Clark. Beth Aaron Lebo. Gina Marie Clark.
Lauren Elizabeth Baldwin. Krista Michelle Reinhardt. Jennifer Ann Denton. Talia Chanel Ogle. Kamika Shaylin Armstead. Let's give the graduating class a round of applause. At this time, I would like to present the Wool Eater Awards. Mr. and Mrs. John Wool Eater established the Wool Eater Award in 1973. Mr. Wool Eater was Executive Vice President of Belden Corporation and served on the Board of Directors of Star Bank and Indiana University East. Since 1973, a Lamp of Knowledge plaque has been presented to the Richmond High School Valedictorian. A large wooden plaque also hangs in Honors Hall at RHS. This plaque lists the names of all of the valedictorians from 1940 to the present. I am very pleased to present this year's Wool Eater Awards to the four valedictorians of the class of 1997. Adam L. Niblick, Michael A. Flory. <laughs> Jamil Z. Iqbal. <laughs> and the fourth valedictorian is Gretchen A. Fix. Let's give them a round of applause. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams, wandering by lone sea breakers and sitting by desolate streams, world losers and world forsakers, on whom the pale moon gleams, yet we are the movers and shakers of the world forever, it seems. With wonderful deathless ditties, we built up the world's cities, and out of a fabulous story, we fashioned an empire's glory. One man with a dream, at pleasure, shall go forth and conquer a crown, and three with a new song's measure can trample an empire down. We, in the ages lying in the buried past of the earth, built Nineveh with our sighing, and Babel itself with our mirth, and overthrew them with prophesying to the old and the new world's work, for each age is a dream that is dying, or one that is coming to birth. We speak now to challenge you, but the best kind of challenge is one that you give yourself. When you challenge yourself and work hard to achieve the goals that you have set, then you will have the greatest success in whatever you do.
Our school motto is a quote from Robert Frost. He said, two roads diverge in the woods, and I, I took the one that's traveled by and that has made all the difference. I challenge you to find your own way of life, apart from the common path, to believe in yourself and your ideas, even if everyone around you says that's bad or different. One of the key goals of education is to learn to think for yourself. To achieve this goal, you must be comfortable and not afraid of who you are. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to present the cow to the valedictorian of the class of 1998, my own sister, Shireen Iqbal. Congratulations. As valedictorian of the class of 1998, I accept this challenge and promise to do my best to succeed. Thank you. Seniors, will you please rise? <laughs> Seniors, we would like to thank you for the gift you have provided for the school of your outstanding, extraordinary heritage. You've been a true joy. It is our honor and pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to present to you the challenging, phenomenal, illustrious, Class of 1997. <laughs> 